All right, for this lower body workout, you're gonna need one of these circle bands. If you don't have one, you can do without. You'll repeat this video three times to make it about a 30 minute workout. All right, so get warmed up and then come and join me. All right, first up we have a side plank knee drive. Now my hips are up. If you need to, you can modify on your knee. Get 45 second intervals. Ten more seconds. And down. Next up, single leg bridge. So you're on your back. I'm going to use my band. They're on your knees. Up. One leg's up. Squeeze up as high as you can. My bottom heel is close to my cupcakes. I'm keeping tension in my strap. And down. Rest, switching legs. And go. Try to get all the way up onto your shoulder blades. your glutes at the top. Just a little bitty pause at the bottom. Like you're just tapping and going back up. <laughs> and down. Next is up to your feet. Reverse lunge. Same leg. If you want to, you can stay stationary and just go up and down. Make sure there's a far enough lunge between your front and back foot so your front knee is not going past your toes so your tush can go straight down and up. I'm keeping my glutes tight and engaged the whole time. We're focusing on hip and glute strength today. Switching legs. If you have cloth bands, they don't slide around as much, just so you know. <laughs> and go. If you're on a hard surface floor, not a carpet, you could put a towel or a plate underneath your back foot and slide out and in.
and rest. Next up is on the ground. We're gonna do a side leg regs, raise. Keep your hips stacked, you're not curved forward or backwards. Keep your core engaged and nice and tight. You can be up on your elbow or all the way down. I'm lifting with my ankle, the outside of my ankle is coming up first. Keeping my knees, my feet facing forward. Again, I'm not rocking backwards or forwards with my hips. Keep my hips stacked. Lift up as high as you can. If you don't have a weight, or you don't have a weight uh, band, sorry, just go faster. Switch sides. Hips stacked. glutes and your abs engaged. Faster if you don't have a band. Or if you do have a band, you can go faster. Just like with the bridges, you want your low position, just barely rest there. Get back up. So your push, push, let little to no rest. Keep those muscles activated. And now rest. Switch sides. Similar. This time your feet are going to be keeping together. Don't clam. Hips are stacked. Don't roll back. Open as much as you can. If you don't have a band, you could put a dumbbell on your thigh or have someone push down while you're trying to resist them and go up. Try to make it three times through this workout. Have a little water break before you start it again. Make sure you stretch when you're done. And rest. Other side. Feet together. Only your knee is opening. Focusing on that outside of your glutes, your outer thigh. You're not rolling with your body. Hips stay stacked on top of each other. I'm not gonna do it one time through and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be feeling this. I did choose a pretty resistant band though, so. There you have it. And rest. One last exercise. I'm gonna be on my stomach. One leg straight, one leg bent, kicking up. Lifting with my heel. It's just a small move. Keeping my butt flexed. And if you have no band, you can still flex your glutes. You could put a weight in your kneecap, in the backside of your knee, and lift up as well, a dumbbell. So for your second time through, you'll do the other side for your side plank. And rest.
last. And for your third time through, I'll see here. Take your legs. Third time through, do both sides. And go. The last one. Keeping your foot flexed, pushing with your heel, squeezing your glutes. Try to get your whole thigh off the floor. Five seconds left for your first round to be complete. And down. Water break. Start this video over and do it two more times. <laughs>